Okay, so today we're going to talk about the swan. Is it good? Okay, so you're a big fan, hey? So wait, what is this gun anyway? This is a 4,000 range gun with a 38% chance to crit. Oof, that's a bad crit rate. Oof, it is only good if you're just like firing it nonstop. How's the bloom? Yeah, I don't know, man. The um, the Swan has some pretty insane bloom. Yeah, if you're like moving around, which you kind of have to be if you're using a massive clip that requires you to keep hitting stuff, you have to keep moving right all the time to keep chasing down enemies, and it's uh, it's a lot of missed bullets. This thing is spraying all over the place. So, so far, uh, it does feel like a very satisfying gun to shoot. Has a nice, good sound to it. Has a really nice rate of fire. It, uh, it seems to shred, you know, pretty darn hard, right? I'm gonna stack it up against the Wraith and kind of see where it stands against, because the Wraith is almost, it's a similar type of weapon, right? You're gonna use it at a similar range, although the Wraith honestly has better range than this one. This one is a 4,000 range weapon, which is good. That's your typical siege breaker grave digger range. Yeah, if you're not if you're not moving, it is pretty good. Pretty good uh, bloom. The bloom is well. I mean, I I, I stand still a lot, so kind of get used to it using the wraith. Wraith has uh, bloom problems as well, right? Yeah, actually, you know what? The wraith has less bloom than the swan. If we're being honest, the swan actually has way more bloom than the wraith does. Kind of. This doesn't really feel like an LMG, though. Honestly. Feels much more like a combat rifle, like it's it's much more y usable. Yeah, using this one while while moving is basically doesn't it doesn't work. This gun is just just ridiculously ridiculously inaccurate while moving. Oh yeah, the wraith is just insane accuracy. Ooh, okay, Mings, there you go. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this defense. I really want to pressure this gun with some serious fodder. Do you like the swan? Um, I'm I'm enjoying the swan quite a bit. Yes, still trying to determine whether or not the swan is uh, is a top tier weapon or not. This thing has a nice big long clip, man. It's a rate of fire on this thing. It feels pretty fast, but it also kind of... Yeah, Minx. Rolls on the swan are perfect rolls. This is, uh... This is, uh, Blake's swan. And he built it exactly the way I would have built it. Oh, the wraith is so much stronger. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, what, like immediately when I switched to the Wraith, I'm like, oh my gosh, the Wraith is so strong, holy cow. The Wraith is ludicrous power. Yeah, so the Swan is not nearly, not even close to the power level of the Wraith. Jeez. I didn't expect there to be such a dramatic difference, but yeah, no, it is like immediately noticeable. All you Also, you feel so much freer with the Wraith because you can pick and choose how you shoot, or the other one, you feel like you're inclined to hold that trigger down. And even if, and even if, even if you hold that trigger down, it's still not even close to the wraith. All right, so the Swan is a very interesting weapon. It comes out of the uh, Fort Nightmares event llamas. Uh, it comes with a variety of new passives. Uh, one being obviously the standout passive. Uh, the standout passive for the Swan is uh, each shot fired grants 1.8 critical rating for one second and it stacks up to 15 times so you could uh, potentially get a 27 percent damage bonus if you stack 15 shots in a row which is you know 27 percent damage pretty good pretty good right but realistically uh you're not going to it's one second it lasts for one second and if you if you lay off the trigger at all uh you're going to lose that bonus so largely you're not going to be getting the 27 27% uh, critical rate bonus. Uh, you're going to be getting a lot lower than that. 
So it's a little deceiving and I think a little bit weak, personally. Uh, this gun is clearly designed towards a crit build. Uh, you don't have the ability to put damage on every single roll. Uh, the, gun is, the, the gun definitely pushes you towards a crit rate, crit damage, crit damage build with mag size in the utility slot and energy in the element. Uh, this thing runs with a 38% chance to crit when fully god rolled, which is okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. So how does this gun stack up? Well, honestly, this gun is really satisfying, really fun to use, but this is not a top tier gun. Uh, when stacked up against uh, a gun like the Wraith, uh, the Swan is going to feel very lackluster. The Wraith does way more damage. Uh, when you switch between the Swan and the Wraith, you notice an immediate difference in how fast you will be bringing down enemies. Um, is the Swan a good gun? Oh yeah. Yeah, Swan's a really good gun. You've got huge clips on this thing. You're running around with an 87 mag size. Uh, the the crit rate is really, it's it's not bad. So you're gonna be hitting lots and lots of shots. Uh, you can just sit on the trigger for this gun and just walk around, just mowing things down. Uh, but this gun has some weaknesses. Uh, the biggest problem that this gun has is the inability to aim while moving. Uh, the bloom on this gun is something truly horrific <laughs> if you want to hit your shots with this gun you really need to be standing still and then the bloom is very manageable as long as you're aiming and standing still but as soon as you start walking around uh the aim for this gun just explodes and it will start blasting shots all over the place making it very difficult to harness the full dps of this weapon um so it does have some weaknesses and uh even in the best case scenario if you're hitting every single shot uh, this gun does not stack up to the top tier, you know, A weapons that are currently, you know, in circulation, such as the Wraith. Uh, the Wraith destroys this gun. The Wraith does everything this gun does, but better in every way. So the Swan is a really fun gun and it feels really good to shoot. Uh, and if you want to god roll this one, you're not going to be disappointed at all. But this is a this is a medium powered weapon. It is um, not the strongest LMG to ever come out, and certainly not the strongest gun to ever come out. Um, but it is fun. It is fun and satisfying to use. And running around with a massive clip, with the ability to do a huge amount of sustain, sustained damage, is uh, is incredible. This gun definitely holds its own and is definitely worthy of use. So if you want to add this to the arsenal of LMGs that you uh, you like to use, you're you're going to be really, really <laughs> happily surprised by, uh, by this one. It has a very unique passive that we've never seen before. And uh, yeah, it's neat. It's neat. If you can uh, find opportunities where you can lay on the trigger and just hit targets constantly, uh, you're going to be popping up some really, really big crit numbers and uh and having a ton of fun with the swan so if you like this video uh come check us out on twitch uh we we twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day seven days a week every single morning starting at 9 a.m uh we'd really appreciate the support uh we're working really hard to uh, grow the twitch channel so come and check us out come uh come help us grow and be part of team vash thanks guys